so happy that you joined us today. Uh, I think we have all the um, sound and the I don't know. <laughs> Is the chat work? <laughs> the chat works today. Yes. <laughs> so that we can uh, know that you're here and we can be seen. Uh, I really want to stress the point that is here on our slide. And it really helped me to put into perspective what it is that we all uh, had to deal with between March and June. Uh, what we did was not really distance learning. Uh, what we were doing was crisis teaching. Uh, many of our teachers had never done anything like this before. We didn't take a lot of time to, to get ready for it. I don't think we could have gotten re ready for it. Uh, we had no idea how long it would last, but now we do. And uh, I think we came out well. We came out ahead of where other schools were. In fact, we began sharing our plans with you uh, way back in March, at least I did with the faculty. We knew that we were not somehow we knew we were not returning in September. But I have some updates for you and a review of some of the things that uh, we've already talked about. First, let me tell you that uh, it's a good thing we're not planning to return to school in September because our building is going to get repaired in September and we're pushing them to be done at least by mid-October. Um, so the entire roof of PPA is going to be removed and replaced. The gutters will be repaired. Uh, it will take care, it will make our building far more safe and not aggravate our students who have asthma or any other respiratory challenges. Um, just found this out today, just in time for our meeting, so that I could share it with you. So the earliest that I believe that we will be able to get back into the building is October 15th. So once again, our schedule is gonna be a little turned but uh, we're gonna try to still stick with it so that our instructional program is not compromised. Uh, they're gonna work on it uh, six days a week, including Saturdays. And uh, they promise to do the noisy parts where they're hammering and drilling. And I now have some idea as to what that sounds like. Where I live this past week, the entire roof on my complex was changed as well. And I was awakened many mornings with the hammering on the roof. So it's, it's quite noisy, but I wanted you to know about this as soon as possible. So I'm sure I'll have more information by our Thursday meeting, uh, but I'll be able to share that with you. Uh, so there will be an in-person delay. So we will not begin that first week in October in person. Unfortunately, not unfortunately, uh, just to let you know, we will still remain remote at the beginning of October. We are reconfiguring the nurse's office so that she has a more suitable place to isolate students who may, and we're not expecting any will, but just in case there are students who become ill, uh, we've reconfigured her, we're reconfiguring her office so that we have a safe place for children to be and give parents an opportunity to take the travel time. Of course, we're gonna want you as soon as possible to get your children, if in fact they become ill, but we want to make it as safe as we can. Oh, gosh. Uh, we're going to be available to you next week 
the 25th and the 26th, Tuesday and Wednesday, between 9 and 2, to pick up your children's materials, their textbooks, their workbooks. If they're, uh, we're trying to get more technology in the building, we're hoping it's there by next week. We'll be there between 9 and 2. Teachers are coming into the building Monday and Tuesday, social distancing, to get their things, to take the things out of their rooms that are not essential things so that we have more room in the classrooms for social distancing. So we will want you to, we want to give us Monday so we can get the books and materials together. So we ask that you can come in Tuesday or Wednesday to pick up materials and supplies. Uh, there is information that we received today from the Department of Education saying that some parents who applied for tablets were not home or you've moved uh, or your address is incorrect uh, so that we can get you the tablets. Children cannot do remote learning if you don't have the necessary technology. Please, please, please get, the inf get your technology. Um, check with Ms. Johnson. Everybody has Ms. Johnson's email. Check with her. She is your contact for uh, tablets. Uh, also, I'm asking you today, tomorrow, to check with Queen's Library for hotspots. Uh, I know when the pandemic first became, began, Spectrum provided um, hotspots so that you had Wi-Fi access in your home. So check with them as well. Are they going to do that for you this year, this school year as well? We are today gonna show you class list uh, so that you know where your child is going to be uh, when we start school. Um, Ms. Jones, uh, teachers, I mean, students will be able to see their teacher name and find their student's name. Can you put kindergarten up, please? Yeah. Track A. Kindergarten track A. So for September and October, this is what uh, track A looks like with Ms. Taylor's group. November and December, this is what... Uh, so it's September and October, they'll be remote, they'll be home. And November... Oh, and these are the remote. They'll be in the building. Mm -hmm. Okay. So everybody on the list is in her class. If their name is in bold, you are uh, you have been selected to do remote learning, so you'll be remote at okay, all so times. So this all of class. the students whose names are bold, their parents have opted for remote learning. Can you yes. put up track B? Mm -hmm. Track B is Ms. Savekovich. These are the children assigned to track B. So track B is September and in November, you're at home learning remote. And in October and December, you're in the building. So track B is every other month they're in the building and out of that month. Perfect. Next, track C. Here is track C with Ms. Resch and Ms. Metellus. And track C for everybody is September and December. You are remote learning and October and November are the months that you are in the building. Okay. Any questions, parents, kindergarten parents? If you don't see your kindergarten child's name, please contact Ms. Jones. And you will... We have one question about pre-K. Will the new pre-K students be getting It's coming up next. It's coming up next. We have the pre-Ks. Mrs. Inforna has an emergency, so she will not be joining us, but we do have our pre-K list. Every pre-K student 
who has already put in an application should consider themselves accepted. And we will show you who has chosen a track or remote, okay? Here are the pre-Ks. So for the pre-K, this is everybody that's going to be in the everybody building. Everybody is remote in September. in September. And in the building every month, October, November, and December. Group one, group two, is there a group three? There were only two oh. tracks for pre-K, so it was track um, one, which is remote in September, and then the rest of the time you're in the building, and then track two, which is- uh, Oh, okay. These There's are the children who have asked for remote instruction. They'll be enrolled in the program, but their, their instruction and learning will be remote. I hope that mom sees her child's name. All right. First grade. Ms. Jones, we have a couple of questions. Oh, good. Um, can we put up the, can we put up the questions? And you okay, have let me do it like that. You can see them? Yes, it says what if- All right, because I'm not seeing them. Okay, it says- All right, if, go. What if a parent chose a track but would like to change? Are we allowed to do so? Yes. If there are- Yes, you can change. Space. Contact Ms. Jones, if ASAP. Okay, if there's space available. Um, how do you go about having your child to do remote learning? You can uh, um, email, yeah, just send an email uh, to myself, to Ms. Johnson. Are we going, we'll I'm sorry, Ms. Jones, are, where are we going to, are we going to post the name um, up on yes. uh, Class Dojo? Okay. Because they some people yes. see the name, so they wanted to see it again. So just okay. take a look at Class Dojo, but we will go through the listing again. Yes, and people are sending and they'll people. and they'll change and what are I didn't hear you Miss Johnson So and what some people, some people are sending the information about their children um, Wanting to be remote just send us a message through class dojo um, yes. not in Chat if you want your child to go to remote learning to any one of us up on the screen You send us a message in class dojo and we'll make the changes to make sure that your child goes into being a remote learner it's not a problem. Uh, those of you who have been hanging in there with us since the beginning of this, I've made a promise. We've all made a promise to you that we will do whatever we can to accommodate your needs. We know that this is a different time, and so different things will need to be addressed. Uh, we will do our best. The only way we would tell you no is if there is no space. As I'm looking at track B for first grade, most of the children in track B are remote. So that's what track B looks like. First grade track C. Okay. Here's track C. Okay, second grade, track A, Ms. Balaceros. She has 11 in and four out, okay out of the building. 201, Ms. Harris. She has nine in and five out remote. Then those children will still follow Ms. Harris when she does her lessons, whether you're in or out. And then Ms. McCourt, and Ms. Ferreira's second grade group. Ms. 
Ms. McCourt will focus more with, I, I don't want to get into that part because I'm not sure of that part yet, but the children here will have September and December remote and October and November in the building. Um, Ms. Jones, I have a question for Ms. Jones, maybe you can help me with this. Um, a a pre-K parent says, good evening, will tablets be available for pre-K? We know they will be available. Uh, how can we get access to Class Dojo? This information wasn't sent to them as yet. Oh, I thought that it had all of the pre k parents were sent an invitation um, last Thursday to Class Dojo. They might not have seen it. I can resend the invitation okay. when our meeting is done. We believe that it was sent last Thursday. If you missed it, it looks like a little gremlin. It's green, and it says Dojo under it. He's an app. Is uh, Can Dojo be pulled out of the App Store? Yes. Yeah. So you can go into the App Store for whatever platform you're on, uh, whether you're Android or if you're Apple, and you can just pull up that. And then how do they log into it? They would receive a, a personalized code just for their child, and they would enter that code, and then they would get access to everything. On okay. Where do they get that code? It's going to be sent to them. The link that was sent last week, the code is okay. on there. Okay. All right. Track A, third grade. I see, wait, I see two questions. Is it possible to go back over it? Uh, are I, these... had, I told them we're going to post it in Dojo. Okay. All right. Uh, Ms. Edwards, um, we're going to, that's, we're coming to it to explain to you how learning is going to happen this year. Okay. Mom, is this what okay. All right. Let me get rid of this so I can see. Third grade, track A. We only have one student who is going to be remote. Do you see your child, Ms. Martinez, is that teacher? Third grade, track B. Okay. We have eight, nine, 10, 11 boys and girls in track B and four, five, six who are remote. And track C, Mr. Osborne, we have 12 boys and girls who are uh, in class and four that are remote. Their remote is September and December and October and November in the building, but those four students are all remote. Track A, fourth grade, Ms. Boglio's class. Okay, do you see your baby's name? Okay, track B, Ms. Hope's class. Track C, Ms. Sproul and Ms. Pitch. John, Ms. Jones, I have a question. Sure. Uh, so for my child's class, I see that all students were not in bold. Now would the class be split in half or will all students be in the same classroom at the same time? The, the children who are bold are not going to be in the building at all. They are every day, every month, remote learners. Does that answer that question? 
She wants to know if it's going to be too, so, um, but hold on, let me just clear my screen. For instance, we have the fourth grade track, See Up Now. All yes. the kids that are not bold, is this going to be one classroom or is it going to be two different classrooms? Like these That's going to be two groups. So That yeah. will be two groups. Okay, so for, yes, yeah, so it'll be two different classes. Each track will be two classes. No, no, just track C, just track C. Track C has two teachers. Oh, that's okay. I'm sorry. So yes. only track C has two classes. Yes. Fifth grade, track A. Okay, this is Miss Fischetto's class. Okay. Track B. Mrs. Hofsis class. And track C. Ms. Barbieri and Ms. Bonsick. Okay. Ms. Jones. If they, yes. if they don't see their child's name on the list, we're going to ask them to send a, um, a message to uh, Ms. Jones and Ms. Pierre. Yes. And uh, I'm going to put both the emails in. Okay, no problem. Yes. If you don't see your child's name, please let us know. Please let us know. It is not intentional. <laughs> Thank you. Can we now go back to pre-K with their children? Did we look at that already? So parents can see pre-K. Pre-K, we're looking at between nine and 11 children in each class. Parents are somewhat concerned about sending their pre-Ks to school. So our enrollment is kind of low. Please reassure your friends who have pre-K students or who had intended to enroll in pre-K that we are doing all that we can uh, to take care of our pre-Ks. We know that they will not be able to wear masks all day. And none of our children and many of our teachers, the same thing. So we'll have periods during the day where they will take off those masks and have rest periods from the masks. Um, we will use the face shields and in pre-K, we're looking to see what other options we have in order to uh, protect them. Okay. All right. So, Ms. Cuervo, you have anything you want to say? Yeah. <laughs> Translation? Yes. I know it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. Ok, buenas tardes padres, um, aquí estoy para traducir, especialmente para los padres que no entendieron. Eh, lo que estaba diciendo la principal es que vamos a actualizar una revisión eh, reparando el edificio entonces de septiembre al 15 de octubre. No vamos a estar en el edificio, vamos a estar virtual. Eh, so, hemos cambiado unas cosas, especialmente porque queremos proteger a los niños, entonces estamos tratando de ver que el edificio esté eh, preparado para cuando entren los niños en octubre. No todos van a entrar, van a hacer es el dependiendo a qué pista esté su hijo. Y eso todo va a estar en Class Dojo. Entonces vamos a tener posible retraso en persona. Vamos a estar también re reconfigurando la enfermería donde está ella, por en caso que uno esperamos que la, nadie tenga el COVID, pero si alguien tiene, ten, estamos reparando también la enfermería para ver que tengamos un espacio a donde los niños puedan ir. 
Eh, también pueden recoger los materiales la otra semana, martes y miércoles, de 9 a 2 de la tarde. Voy a repetir eso. Pueden recoger los materiales el martes y miércoles de la otra semana, de 9 a 2 de la tarde. También es impor muy importante que su, su, su hijo esté preparado para, especialmente que vamos a estar virtual trabajando de casa, tienen que tener una tableta. Entonces, el Departamento de Educación tiene muchos accesos o pueden consultar con su bibli biblioteca en Queens para conocer los puntos de acceso, consultar con Spectrum para conocer los puntos de acceso para, para que se pueda con conectar. Um, Ahora mismo estamos yendo por las listas de maestros, las clases acabamos de publicar, aunque fuimos un poquito rápido, pero todo va a estar en Class Dojo para que vea en qué clase está su hijo o hija. Um, I think that's it. Si ustedes tienen una pregunta, por favor escríbelo en el chat y yo le pregunto a la principal. Thank you. No problem. Okay. Ms. Jones, can we move to um, that first page, please? So the difference between last year and this year. Last year, or and I'm using last year as March through June, we were in crisis mode. We didn't know what we were doing. We didn't know how it was going to go from day to day to day. And so we call that being in a crisis. I basically told teachers, here we go, let's get it done. Uh, we're not sending home stacks and stacks of papers. Who wants to grade it? Kids aren't gonna do it. And then they're not moving forward. We want our learning and instruction to be active. And so they had to jump in and learn how to do that. But this year, this new school year, our teaching will be more purposeful. It will be according to the standards. It will be a different type of engagement. Uh, we want children to be able to talk with one another. I remember you saying, parents, that they hated missing, they were missing their friends. But this is a reason why we are going to ask that, uh, and we'll talk about that in a minute, that we have quiet, places where we can, you know, your child can engage in teaching and learning. Uh, our progress, we're, we're more concerned about our progress and the achievement of students. We're not into playing games. This is real school now again, for lack of a better term. We're going to have monthly parent meetings uh, by grade level. Please make yourself available. You can do it where you can only listen to it. You can put it in your ear while you're at work or on the train or driving so that you can hear what's going on in the classroom. We're going to send home monthly progress reports so that you know how your children are faring in school. We want to keep an open line of communication. Each month, you're going to receive a plan, it'll be brief, in, in bullets as to what's coming up for the new month. What are we going to be working on in ELA? What is, the, what is the focus and what are the strategies? What are we doing in mathematics? Um, we'll also include the dates that assessments will take place so that you're more informed about what is going on. I know that I remember hearing from parents that they were upset that they didn't know that their child was going to have a, an assessment today. And they just needed the teacher to have let them know, well, we're going to do that this year, but we're going to ask you to please hold on to that information, not to misplace it, not to lose it. We're going to send it via email or via text, which is Dojo, so that you, are, you always have it at your fingertips. We're not going to risk it being on a piece of paper and you losing it or misplacing it. I know I don't keep up well with little pieces of paper here and there. So um, we want to develop positive relationships between our parents and our teachers. It's not going to help 
anybody, if there's hostility that goes on between your teachers, new year, new attitude, student learning is critical. We are truly in No Child Left Behind. And we're also coming through a summer where it has been traumatic for our children. I don't know the status of everyone's health, but we can only assume that all of our children have not had a carefree year uh, where no one was ill or their parents had to work or that the children might have been ill or a grandparent. We don't know if lack of jobs being available has caused tremendous hardship on families. So we are here to be understanding and to be supportive. If you're having difficulty getting school uniforms, and I'm gonna talk about that in a few minutes, please reach out to Ms. Johnson. Uh, the uniform guy is going to be here. Um, what's the date, Ms. Johnson? Today, August 25th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Okay, the uniform guy will be here on the 25th from 9 to 1. Yeah. It's important that you get any information to Ms. Johnson ASAP because we can't take care of that in the moment. We would just like to be able to hand, you, hand it off to uh, the vendor so that this can just be taken care of confidential, confidentially. Uh, we want to protect your privacy. So please reach out to Ms. Johnson so she can handle this. Uh, positive relationships with your teachers is the best thing that we can do in beha on behalf of our children. Uh, please, it, it's so important. I can't tell you how important it is. So, and one other thing I wanna make very clear, that success is not determined by whether we do in-person teaching or remote teaching. It's the quality of the instruction. It's the buy-in that we all have for the process. It's, it's asking and making sure that your children show up daily, ready to work, serious about what it is that we're getting ready to undertake. Uh, before I go, Ms. Cuero, you're up. Okay. I did just number two. All right. Um, la diferencia entre el año pasado y este año es que la, la enseñanza en la situación de crisis versus la enseñanza con propósito. Vamos, nuestro enfoque es el progreso y el logro de los estudiantes. Vamos a tener las re reuniones con los padres mensual. Entonces eso es algo que un, los padres tienen que estar pendientes porque es muy importante que estemos en contacto con ustedes cada mes para que estemos encima del progreso de su hijo. Vamos a tener informes de progreso mensual, planificando el próximo mes, incluyendo las fechas de la, las evaluaciones también. Um, estamos muy enfocados en lo, el desarrollo de relaciones positivas que sean el mejor interés de los estudiantes. Y el éxito no está determinado por si estamos en persona o si estamos um, trabajando virtualmente. Okay. Okay. So, uh, if you have any questions, now might be the time to ask. Si tienen preguntas, por favor, escríbenlo en el chat. There's no one left out at the end. Horrible, you see that one? Oh, yeah, I see There's that. One. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just going to answer this live. Okay. Yes. Um, so, acerca de los materiales, um, otra vez lo repito, el martes y miércoles pueden ir a recoger los materiales de la próxima semana de 9 a 2 de la tarde. Martes y miércoles de la semana que viene de 9 a 2 de la tarde. Los materiales significa los libros, los, los, los cosas que van, los libros que van a usar los niños el, pro, el año que viene escolar. So tienen que ir en persona. They have to go in person to pick up the material, correct? Yes. Okay, so sí, tienen que ir en persona. 
um, Ms. Jones, it wasn't a teacher's name near the pre-K. Yes, I noticed that. Um, Ms. Informa said that she hasn't put the, split the pre-K classes with their teachers yet. She's going to do that and then she'll send that information because their survey just ended yesterday, so she didn't have the opportunity to place them with their teachers yet. Okay. Uh, for remote uh, learning for kindergarten and pre-K, <coughs> Will we be using Zoom? And if so, will they have different times to be on? Yes, they'll be on. And no, they won't have different times. Are they um, be using school, Zoom? Kindergarten through fifth grade's time is from 9 to 2. Pre-K's time is, I want to say, uh, 8.30, no, ours is K to, two, K to 5 is 8 to 2. Pre-K's time is 8.30 to, to one I believe, thirty. I believe it's 1 or one thirty, Mrs. Jones, before our dismissal. Yes, uh, I, I, I think she said one thirty. But we'll let you know soon, okay? We promise. It's, we'll put it in one by tomorrow. It's 1.30. I looked at the document that she sent. The dismissal is 1.30. Okay, dismissal is at 1.30. Is the academic calendar available? Someone just asked. No. Uh, the reason it isn't available yet, and I'm thinking that we're just going to create our own, because the Department of Education has not yet uh, released a year calendar. Um, so we want to be as accurate as possible. Um, the bus company doesn't have it. The food company doesn't have one. Uh, but we know how urgent it is for parents to get a calendar. It is for us as well. Uh, we may just take it on to create our own. Um, I'll talk that over with Ms. Johnson and the other part, the other leadership team. So they will be online all day. Not continuously. We will, for all students, there will be a break. Uh, they'll have mask breaks. They'll have bathroom breaks. Uh, lunch will be in the classroom. Uh, we want them to have recess. Um, Mr. Mr. Korea will do recess outdoors. Um, as it's long as the weather's asking if they're going to be online, like when they're doing remote learning all day on the computer. When they're doing, oh, okay, I see that. <laughs> so will they be online all day? All day. Okay. Uh, remote learning is going to be using their computer. Yes. So they're going to be connected all day. Okay. Yes. Uh, so the remote learning may last longer than we had planned. We just have to be open to that. We are hoping that remote learning ends in December, at the end of December, when we go out for winter break. We hope that's the end, that New Yorkers get themselves together, wear masks, socially distance, so that this pandemic will be done. That's our plan. You'll see on all of the schedules that we're not going further than December, unless we have to. Uh, but it's not over. And we really would like to uh, plan that we're done in December. So, but when we start, we want all of our students to show up on time and be in their uniforms. We need them to be serious and ready to learn. It won't be a situation like we did last term because we had children who never showed up one single day. And, you know, we attempted to work with those families, work with that student, and it, it was just very, very difficult. We know that there are a lot of things going on, but now we know more about how we have to protect ourselves, and we're expecting that that will happen see a lot of questions building up yeah so uh, uh one of them 35 questions 
No, 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 no. Those are answered already. Uh, the question okay. is, All right. first grade track B only had six students that weren't in bold. Will it only be six students in the classroom? Yes. And how would the seating in the classroom will be? Well, they absolutely have the time, I mean, have the space to majorly distance. And you said the remote learning is going to be the same time as the in-class learning from 8 to 2? Yes. Starting at 8. And what we, about the pre k time again? The pre k time is, uh, what's, what's the time, Ms. Jones? It's uh, 9 to one thirty. Hold on, let me double check. 9? Okay, that document. Thank you. It's 9 to one thirty for pre-K. Mm -hmm. And classes are starting September 9th, is it? For the first Yes. Day? Remote learning will start on September the 9th. Our students? At 8 o'clock for K through 5. Okay. And for um, students? Are students able to wear their gym uniforms during remote learning instead of the polos? Absolutely. It's still part of the school uniform. Okay. Okay. Are we ready? Yes. Okay. Uh, we'd like for students to wear, to use headphones if possible. Uh, because it allows kids to only hear uh, what it is that the teacher is saying to them. Uh, I have no control over your house. And so I am humbly asking to have a suitable learning environment where children are not distracted by all that's going on around them. One of the things that parents were adamant on is that students missed their friends. They couldn't talk to them. And all the time they were muted. I would like for us to be able to have school where the students' microphones are not muted. They are not muted. But it has to be quiet in the background so that everybody doesn't hear what's going on in your house. You would be amazed at this, as to some of the things that our teachers and students witnessed in other boys and girls houses. Uh, family members who didn't remember that their kid was online and had a camera that photographed what was behind them. We've seen adults in all kinds of dress and undress, in towels, uh, and less. Kids have seen all types of things, heard bad language, heard kids called names. Please, please, please don't use bad language uh, while appropriate language while classes are going on. Please be sure that everyone is dressed appropriately. Please insist that your child has all of the materials that they need for that day. Uh, and keep that bottle of water or glass of water or juice or whatever you wish for them to have as a beverage, have it close by. I see some questions are, okay. We only have one about busing, but I believe they're asking about private busing. Private, yes. We don't have any information on, they would have to contact the private bus company themselves to get that information. And as far as the school buses, we still don't have any information on that as well. We have nothing in writing. I've kind of heard on the news that they're going to put barriers on the backs of the seats. So it is important that children actually sit down, that they sit down while they're on the bus, maintain their mask or shield so that they are protected. Um, what time is lunch for pre-K? I, 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 what time was it last year, Ms. Cuervo? Mm. 
Miss Jones, Miss Square did send a document for pre K that has all of that on there. Yeah, last year was around 11.15, but it could change. Okay. I can't think, I can't imagine that it's going to be any different than that. So uh, plan for about 11.15. And once again, it is important that parents drill in, because this is important, that we are not to share food at all. I know that pre-Ks don't bring snacks but they shouldn't share what's on their plate with other students and all K to fivers, please reiterate with your child. We are not, we are not sharing food. Will the mask and shields be given out on the day we pick up textbooks? I don't know. That's a good question. I know that all the masks are in the building. I don't know if the shields have arrived yet, I'll send out while Ms. Cuervo is translating. I'll uh, call out to Mr. Pierre and ask him, will the shields be in the building when parents come in? Okay, um, Ms. assignments, Ms. yes. Ms., uh, Mr. Pierre has answered that question. He said, no, they will be available in September. How, the mask what? And the, what? The mask and the shields, Mr. Pierre just said they will be available in September. Oh, okay. All right. So they have to wait until September to get them. Yes. All righty. Okay. Assignments must be completed and turned in on time. That was a big problem we had this past semester where assignments weren't done uh, and kids just didn't do them. They just didn't do them. I know that we have children who have testing accommodations where they don't take the state exams, but the good news is there are no state exams this school year. But the assessments that we give to determine the effectiveness of instruction, parents, please allow your students to know that they do need to take those assessments. They do need to take those assessments, all right? Uh, yes, a parent wanted to know if they weren't available to pick up books and supplies, can a family member do it? Yes, they can. They'll just have to sign for you, okay? If a child is absent for any reason, the assignment still must be completed and turned in to the teacher. And promotion, will be based on what it has always been based on. The quality of the work, participation, on time, and the assessments. Okay, Ms. Cuervo, you're on. Okay, el aprendizaje virtual puede durar más de lo planeado. Nosotros tenemos planeado eh, de octubre a diciembre, pero no sabemos con todo dependiendo a Acá, los que viven acá, si siguen haciendo lo que estamos haciendo, entonces podemos entrar otra vez al edificio. Los estudiantes deben presentarse y llegar a tiempo con sus uniformes. Si estamos virtual, es lo mismo como si estuviéramos en el edificio. Ellos tienen que estar en uniforme y un, un pariente también acaba de preguntar que si están en el uniforme de gimnasia, está bien. La principal dijo que está bien. Entonces, el uniforme regular o el uniforme de gimnasia está bien, pero tienen que tener uniforme puesto. Queremos que los estudiantes se vean serios y listos para aprender. Um, también nos gustaría que los niños estén con audífonos puestos porque esos lo ayudan a enfocar más cuando están trabajando virtualmente. Por favor, si es posible, los padres que crean un espacio para su hijo a donde no están distraídos de otras cosas, en la casa porque entendemos que hay otras cosas que están pasando en su casa, pero es mejor que ellos tengan su espacio donde no tengan distracciones. Eh, no, sabemos que no hay control de su casa por, por diferentes cosas que estén pasando, pero es muy importante que ellos crean ese espacio. Eh, también um, adultos que tengan mucho cuidado con el lenguaje que usen en su casa que sea especialmente cuando sus hijos es, estén conectados virtualmente, porque todo se escucha. Eh, 
vistiéndose apropiadamente, obviamente lo repito, uniforme es muy importante, tienen que estar en su uniforme. Eh, todos los um, materiales listos para usar, eh, lápiz, cuaderno, lo que sea, todo preparado para el día como si estuviéramos en la escuela. Eh, si los niños, um, por ejemplo, tengan sed, que tengan agua ya preparado y al lado de ellos también. Todas las asignaciones deben estar completadas y entregadas a tiempo. Si un niño está ausente, la tarea aún debe estar completada. La promoción se basará en lo que siempre ha sido calidad de trabajo, participación, puntualidad y valor valoraciones también. So, es muy importante que su hijo esté preparado durante el día, enfocado, tenga su espacio y esté haciendo todo el trabajo. Eso es muy, muy importante. That's it. <laughs> ok. Um, Miss Jones, would you bring up active listening? Ok. Okay, this is called whole body listening. And this is what researchers have said uh, is the best behavior if you're talking about learning behaviors that students can exhibit. Uh, and this is predominantly for K through five. Pre-K operates differently than this. We want to make sure that their brain is thinking, that their eyes are watching. We want the cameras on so that teachers are able to see what children, if children are getting it. We have been trained through the years to be able to read a child's face and body language, to be able to determine if they are understanding what is being taught. Uh, unless they are ask, uh, asking a question or they're discussing or they're sharing information, They shouldn't be talking, just randomly talking. They, their hands are still and they are listening. Uh, they're sitting up. Please try to provide a, a table or a desk or somewhere where they can sit in a chair and participate in school. Uh, the laying in the bed under the cover, on the laying on a pillow, Uh, that is very distracting for a child. Uh, when I lay down and I'm under the cover and my head is on a pillow, I'm going to sleep. I'm not paying attention. And if we want this to be successful for your child, you have to insist on certain behaviors from your child. Teachers are going to remind students of these behaviors every day in September. So that by the time we begin and we're open in October, this is what they understand is what is the expectation for school. Uh, we're going to have textbooks. Uh, we've already ordered them. Teachers are going to be pulling those all together on Friday, I'm, I'm sorry, on Monday the 24th, putting them in stacks with your child's name on them. Please bring a bag to carry them home. We don't want you to have to try to carry it all in your arms. Please bring a backpack or a bag that won't tear and drop out on the street. All of the books are brand new. So please have some type of bag for transporting. We're not going to have just passive video watching. It will be more interactive so that it's more engaging for students. Um, we will have Uh, discussions, building, explanations, um, competitions, projects, uh, creating, integrating art into the lessons that are going on in reading and math. So we'll have far more engaging methods of instruction. Rubrics. Rubrics are scales to measure the Uh, the, the, to measure the work that the student has done, that measures their uh, understanding and their presentation and their discussion 
a rubric is a measurement tool instead of A, B, C, or um, check plus, check minus, uh, there will be uh, numbers with formulas that say what that number means. We'll send that home uh, so that you have it or we'll put it on the website of that grade level so that you have it and you know what it means. We're going to minimize the pieces of paper that we send so that you can just find it online and be able to utilize it and use it. Uh, rubrics will be shared with the students as well so they know before a lesson how they will be assessed. What is the teacher looking for? What does the teacher want me to be able to do so that I know that I can get that for, so that I know I can demonstrate that I understand this concept. So we're going to have lots of discussions between peers and less the teacher. The teacher is going to just be a facilitator more than talking at children. Okay. Any other? Okay, Mrs. Cuervo, Ms. Cuervo. Can't hear you. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, los componentes de instrucción, Cam, que estaba diciendo la principal, que cuando vengan a recoger los libros de texto, <clears throat> que sea muy importante que traigan una bolsa o un... O, o algo que pueda sostener los libros de texto porque le vamos a dar varios libros. Eh, vamos a estar usando vid videos interactivos um, que ayuden a los niños a visualizar lo que estamos tratando de enseñarles. Vamos a usar diferentes métodos de, instru de instrucción que sea más atractivo para los estudiantes. Y vamos a usar las rúbricas Um, que se compartirán con los estudiantes y los padres como sabrán antes de la lección, cómo serán evaluados. Eh, las, las rúbricas van a tener diferentes números a donde identificará a dónde está su hijo y todo va a estar es, explicado en un papel eh, dependiendo a el, el número de su hijo. También vamos a tener muchas discusiones entre compañeros y, y los maestros, o sea, menos maestros y más con los compañeros para que sea más interactivo. Y es muy importante que durante la sesión no estemos hablando sobre nuestros compañeros. Thank you. Uh, I have a pre-K question. The pre-K... Okay. Um, for pre-K, there's a slide that indicates face-to-face -face learning from 8 to 1.30. Is remote learning following this time frame, or are we going by the 9 a.m. start time stated earlier? Uh, that's an error, the 8 o'clock. Because pre-K does not begin at 8. Only the kindergarten through 5th begin at 8. She wants to know if okay. the kids will be able to take Spanish classes. You know, I'm thinking about that. Uh, however, that would be something that they would have to do independently. There are a lot of programs that we can provide that are able to teach uh, foreign languages, whichever one you want. We had access to Rosetta Stone last year. I'll check and see if we have it this year, but it's set up so that it's self-managed. But Duolingo. at this time, Duolingo, yes. I'm trying to uh, get my spend up to par. <laughs> yes, up <laughs> with, uh, so we'll share more information with on that, okay? Any other questions? We've reached the one hour point. Okay. We'll see you Thursday for the wrap up. No, We're going to kindergarten school. Oh, never mind. That one is easy. Will the kindergarten school list be sent out? It's going to be posted on Dojo. Okay.
we're going to do the wrap up so that we know how we're coming into school in October or November, fingers crossed October, but our school will be free of any pathogens, uh, brand new roof, no more leakage, uh, none of the other trials that we have had for all the years I've been at PPA. I'm so grateful that the Archdiocese has finally decided to take care of their building. So um, we're going to try to hold them to their time schedule so that our school does not wait until November to begin in-person learning. Uh, that leaves us with only two months and it completely destroys our schedule. So they're promising us six days a week uh, and the noisy stuff will happen in September so that when we begin in October, we're not disturbed by hammering and nailing and all that other stuff. Um, last meeting will be on Thursday, day after tomorrow. And I hope to see you all on Tuesday. Uh, I'm there bright and early, um, but we're only doing social distancing. If when you come in, be sure you have your mask. If you don't have your mask, you will not be able to enter the building. Okay, does everybody understand that? I hope so. Por Thank favor, you, Ms. Johnson. Por tu máscara. I'm just going to let them know in Spanish because they right. might have no the mask on. <laughs> right. Okay, so es muy importante que cuando vengan el martes y el miércoles de 9 a 2 p.m. que vengan con su máscara puesta y igual vamos a estar usando eh, distanciamiento social. So, como dijo la principal otra vez, por favor, vengan con su máscara, okay? <laughs> y vamos a tener otra cita Una otra reunión este jueves a las cuatro. Okay. Thank you everyone for being here. Uh, I appreciate you caring about what's happening with PPA. Uh, if you have preschoolers in your building or friends who had thought about having pre-K students coming to PPA, please let them know that we will do everything that we can to take care of our children. Even if they choose to be rose, uh, the reason that both and in-person classes run on the same schedule is that some remote children are on class lists of teachers who are teaching face-to-face. -face. So the class has to run the same. It will run as if they're in the building. So please talk to your friends about bringing in their pre-K kids. We'd love to have them. And we are looking forward to this exciting adventure. Uh, I have to look at it like that so that I can go to sleep at night and not worry about is everything going to be just so. Uh, we just learned today, this morning, that our schedule has the potential of being disrupted during that the archdiocese waited until September to decide to fix the roof. We've only been asking for it for how many years, Ms. Johnson? Five. More than what's on one hand. <laughs> yeah. Why? Mm -hmm. And so here we go right now. So thank you everyone for your attention. Last call, any questions? So we have some people with their hands up. I'm not sure if their questions were answered. Um, hold on. This is Selena. You are permitted to talk? Yes. Um, I think she hasn't missed. This is for Amira's mom. Yes. You have a question? Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hi, you hear me? Yes, you can ask your question. So this is the old mom. I just want to ask, I didn't see my child name in fourth grade and second grade. I don't know who I can reach or who I can call. 
you will send your child's name uh, to Miss Tom's or Miss Johnson. Oh, Ms. And Wolf? we will, Miss Johnson, he's sitting right there with the black and white on. Oh, Miss Johnson? And yeah. uh, yes, I don't Ms. have her email. You can send it to me on Class Dojo. I have received four or five scholars already that will be transferring to remote okay. learning. You can send me any messages on Class Dojo if you would like to um, have your child opt into remote and I will pass that message on to the coaches for each grade level. Whatever okay. is easier for you. Okay, thank you, Ms. John. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Thank you. Also any more have, questions yes you have uh a couple uh two more hands raised hold on um miss velez i know i answered some of hers but miss velez if you have any questions okay and i have a new mom or dad if you have okay. any, uh, any questions hello 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 hi Hi. Ask your question, please. Yeah, hello? Okay. Um, um, so on, on Thursday, we're gonna find out for pre-K who the teachers are? Is that that's yes. what's happening? Yes, Mrs. Inforna had an emergency. She called me uh, right before we went live okay. and said she, have to take care of it, but she will be back for Thursday to give you those answers. Okay. Also, okay? also when they're doing remote learning, because I want to switch all my kids to remote learning. Um, Easy. But when, that when they're doing this in November and you have the kids that are going to school, so during that same time as they're going to school, there are kids that are going to be doing remote learning, right? Yes. And is it is it like the same teacher or is it gonna be like two different teachers? One they'll time? have the same teacher. They will be assigned to a teacher, whether they are remote or whether they are in person. Okay, so they and won't be so, so they won't teacher, be doing so they won't be doing virtual learning. Like the teacher will be in front of them. They'll just be doing like you know assignments. Is that no. What no, I, uh, no. Okay. What will happen is that your child will be able to talk to and see and hear the teacher and their classmates. Oh, um, okay, okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. This is new. <laughs> It's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I was confused. Sorry. It's all right. We've all been confused at some point throughout all of this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so if we... We had a dad here. Precious, his father. Precious, yeah, I got him. Oh, you got him? Okay. No, 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 no. I didn't answer it. Mr. Ahano? Uh, yes. Hello? Hi. Hi. Yeah. Your question? Hello? Yeah. Initially, we chose um, track C. Uh huh. And, and we resubmitted uh, for her to be on track A. Is that still um, available? Is it? Yes. What class is she in? She's going to be doing uh, first grade. First grade. Track A. Yes, there's room. Yeah, because initially we selected uh, track C, but now um, my wife and I was going through and we think she should go on to the, um, if it's still possible, she can go on track A. That's fine. Okay. Um, then okay, if, that um, all the questions, if you have any more requests for changes with the um tracks, please just send them over to us yes. in writing through class dojo 
and we will make the, and we will make the changes if we can and if not someone will let you know what track that your child will be going into so if you're off of a track or in remote learning please send yes. us a message to class dojo okay okay right, thank you. parents Yes, we have our parent meeting. It's okay. I'll call you right back. Thanks, Mr. Fish. We are not sure when uh, we'll be calling off the wait list as soon as we get into the building on Monday. Uh, give Ms. Hernandez at least until Monday afternoon or to Tuesday, and she will reach out to anyone from off the wait what list. Grade, what grade is the wait list? They didn't say in the uh, message. And, All right. And what then, grade was that? Would that person like to let us know what grade are we looking at? I'm looking at the list now. No, no, no. This is the wait list, Miss Jones. Not, not, not the track. Oh, not the class list. Not the class list. All right. Um, I missed out on the the track. The listings will be posted on Class Dojo, so you can go and check Class Dojo for the listing. And if there are any issues, you can send us a message on Class Dojo as well. They're going to get posted a little bit later on today because I'm getting a lot of requests to make changes. Okay. So I'm going to wait till the changes are done. So if you look for it tomorrow, realistically, it'll be okay. up, but it won't be up today. Okay, I'm so sorry. Okay, so tomorrow, please check on Class Dojo tomorrow for the updated tracks. All uh, changes that we can make will be made today, and she will, Miss Jones will repost it tomorrow. Are there any other? I'm trying to go down the list to make sure that we answered everyone. Sorry. And um, okay, for second and third grade, we will have to speak to Ms. Hernandez. That is a separate wait list question. So she'll be in the building on Monday. So you can even give a call at that time as well. Okay, I think that's everyone. Okay, did we answer that parent Galaxy S9? Yes, we told them it's gonna be posted tomorrow on class. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Did I miss any information about track C? I don't were you here when we showed it? Um all the I'm not sure which information you're looking for, Galaxy but if you want to know if your child is in track C, the list will be posted on Class Dojo tomorrow. Okay. Miss uh, Johnson is I enrolled. I have to check the kindergarten listing. Oh. Yeah. I'll check the kindergarten listing. Mr. Achapong, you can reach out to us. We'll reach out to you on Class Dojo, okay? The books can be picked up on Tuesday, August 25th, yes. and Wednesday. Yes, Mina is enrolled. She is? Okay, Mina is enrolled for kindergarten, Mr. Achapon. Yes, I see her name. So on Tuesday, August 25th, and Wednesday, August 26th, from 9 a.m. to 2, you can come into the building to pick up your books. Okay. Is that it for the questions? Or just people raising their hands? No, we're only taking the questions in the chat. Okay. Please write your questions down. Escriban sus preguntas en el chat. Um, because we are making changes to the tracks as it's coming in, the tracks will be posted on Class Dojo tomorrow. Pre, will pre-K be picking up materials on that day as well? Yes. Yes. If there are materials to be picked up, we'll find that out on Thursday when Mrs. Inforna is here. Yeah. Okay. Um, that is all that came in through the chat. Okay. And one more. <laughs> Oh, two, here we go. Will we be able to see the names? Yes, she'll be able to see the names on um, tomorrow on Class Dojo. One, two, 
money for both my kids. And I don't know. Please send that information, Ms. Bakari, to me through Class Dojo. Yes. Oh, Ms. Uh, Corvo. Okay. Uh, she was just saying that her um, daughter was receiving occupational therapy in her other school. So uh huh. I, I guess her question would be because that's all she said, but I guess she's trying to. Okay, ask. she wants to probably know if she's going to receive her services. Yes. Okay, so ella sí va a seguir recibiendo las terapias, eh, I'm, but I'm assuming that when she's at home, they'll go to her home. I don't. How does that? Work? No, they do OT through online. Virtual. Okay, yeah, sí. Virtual. Por ejemplo, si usted está virtual, entonces van a hacer las terapias virtual con su hija, pero las terapias van a seguir. You're welcome. Okay. Yes, you can still use your tablet through DOE if you receive the DOE tablet. It's fine. They need to just, Ms. Jones posted a notice on Dojo about the tablets that they received from last year. They just need to tell them that they still wish to use it. That's all. Okay? Um, someone posted a website for children that received methods. Yeah, because she I, just said that her other school has all the information. I don't what? know. What, about I don't the occupational know. therapy. I don't know. Okay, she got tell her to uh when we come into this is about the, related services. Yeah. Okay. I'm, but the it works differently for us than it does the DOE. So we contract with our own service providers. So we've never had a problem with our OT or PT people. We have speech and language on faculty. We've never had an issue. We know that this is a new time uh, and we will be in touch with them and ask them how this is gonna go between now and Thursday, okay? So nosotros tenemos nuestro propio personas que, hacemos, que hacen las terapias. Entonces vamos a estar en pendiente de que su hijo reciba esas terapias, pero tenemos que contactarnos con la agencia primero que trabaja Peninsula Prep. Everybody comes and picks up their materials Tuesday and Wednesday, the 25th and the 26th, between 9 and 1. You can send someone if you can't come, but it needs to be an adult or almost an adult. Okay? This parent doesn't know how to unmute themselves. No, there is that, no, 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 it's okay. That parent is taken care of. That's the one that. Okay, gotcha. I don't know what this. No, they're just saying thank you for all the information. Oh, no problem. Okay. Who do we tell? What's that about? <laughs> I'm not sure what we tell. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe about the groups. What? Okay. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Hold your questions. If you have any new ones, we'll open up with questions and give you the fine information that we've received. Thank you so much for being here. And don't forget about those pre-Ks. We need them. Thank you. Bye-bye. Y no se le olviden que se contacten con sus amigos para que nos ayuden con en metiendo más niños para el, nuestro programa del pre-K. Ok, bye, que tengan un, una buena noche, chao. Ok. Uh.